Hi everyone, am I unmuted this time? <laughs> My goodness. How is everybody? I'm gonna get everything ready in the set for us. I already opened the game, so I know that the EA app is working today. I know we're kind of close, like adjacent to a Sims 4 patch, so who knows. Hi, Jonathan, you're the first one in, welcome. Tonight, I'm having the Vietnamese coffee I talked about last week, so I'm gonna be drinking that for a little bit more energy. And then of course we have our water. The grill next door, I'm here, you made it, welcome, you did make it, well done. Natalie, hey everyone, Natalie made it too. Catching witchcraft should be in bed, but is here for some reason. I should be in bed too, I'm pretty tired. But like I always say, tomorrow is Friday, so I just have to get through one more day and I get to leave work early on Fridays. So I'll probably just go right to sleep after. Hi Maya, how are you? Good to see you. Nicholas is here from Argentina, I think. There we go. Hi, how are you? The Sims 4 sucks and I I love The Sims 3 and 2. You took the words right out of my mouth. My goodness. Oh, I left my kitchen light on. I've got all the lights on tonight. Ladybug is here. Good to see you. I'm sure I'll see you in CJ's stream later too. Hi Athena. Welcome. You made it. Maloney says Sims 4 is better than Sims 3, 2, and Sims Medieval, etc. Also, hi everyone. I have to throw in it's also better than The Sims 1. Like the the Sims 1 is better than The Sims 4, in my opinion. In my humble, expert opinion. Star Stuff, hey Breck, how are you? I am, thank you. Hi Federica, good to see you. You made it too. Good, I'm glad everyone can hear me. If I, if I found out now that no one could hear me, I would have like a panic attack. Twyla says, I remembered. Welcome Twyla, you made it. Sierra says, hi, Rec. glad you're live again. Thank you, I am too. Today is gonna be a little bit more of a chill stream. We're still gonna play the 100 baby challenge. I'm kind of in a building mood. I don't know if I should start building something. I don't wanna start building the starter house, but I do kind of wanna make a casino or make like a public woohoo lot. So that way we can kind of get pregnant other places. I have a few ideas. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, like we'll just, we'll just jump into the game and kind of see where it takes us. I don't want to sleep because I want to hack away some Sims building and these streams help calm my nerves. Well, I'm glad they help calm your nerves. The 100 baby challenge does not calm mine. Yes, let's let's build. What should we build then? Help, give me some ideas. I don't know what to do. Like, is there a Barnacle Bay lot that like I should be looking at and fixing? Are we going over the new Sims 4 kits tonight? I didn't know there was a Sims 4. My goodness. Yeah, so there, what is it? There's two kits? They did two? Oh my God. I bet you bought them too. I found, so here's a fun story. So on my way home, I found $5 just like on the street and I picked it right up and put it in my wallet because like there's people all, all over the place. No one was looking for it. And like, imagine you pick up money off the street and go, who lost this? You're gonna get a bunch of people. So I was just like, you know what? mine and I'm still not gonna buy the kit so there you go love your build so I'm down hi CJ people see CJ build a second home to have romantic time we we we, we could also like start a graveyard that might be a good thing to do because like because like when when Amber Lynn's dead all of her older siblings will be dead so that'll be like I don't know, like 13-ish graves, plus the baby that died, plus cemetery is still, in, oh my God, cemetery is an elder. I don't want to think about it. Cemetery can have her own mausoleum. <gasps> Let's do a mausoleum for cemetery and only cemetery. Maybe Harley as well, like a matriarch mausoleum, but we'll start off with like, we'll start off with our favorite character, maybe. I'm building a local watering hole. That's a good idea. This The Sims team has never been great at making bars. The Sims 2 bars, like they like they tried and they're pretty realistic, but like uh it just it just it just never it, it never works out as well as you'd expect. And I always like 
even though I can make it work now, I have these memories of late night where like I just had problems getting into the bars and like the bouncers wouldn't work properly. This is all years ago though, right? But like it sticks in your mind. It's like with The Sims 4, if they fixed Dine Out or they fixed my wedding stories, they won't do that. But let's just pretend that they do, right? Then like, even if it works, you're still gonna be thinking, oh, I hope it works. And then it's like no longer fun. So I wouldn't mind doing that too. Lost money becomes the unlost the moment you pick it up. Like for me, like if someone like was looking for money or was like actively trying to get like, I would not bother. Like I know it's not mine. So like I wouldn't think about it, but it's like doesn't seem to be anyone else's. So there you go. Graveyard is a good idea. Don't forget Rugrat gets the grave in the far corner with nothing around it. We can put a weed or something. We can put like bushes, like overgrown, like the forgotten child. Cause she doesn't count for the challenge. So why, so why should we? She should have went to the bathtub. I told her to go to the bathtub. She didn't. And now she's dead. So there you go. Put it next to a pond for her mermaid heritage. That's a good idea too. Yeah, I always go add to bars because EA bars are not, are not made, are not made good. And I spent a lot of my twenties in the night scene. Like I don't do any of that anymore, but I know what they're supposed to look like. At least what they looked like 10, 10, 12 years ago. Okay, I'm gonna try and get everything sorted for us. And here we are at our lovely save file screen. So, so I know that a cotton sock gave me heck for having an unorganized uh, string of save files, but we are still like, I have not cleaned it since. And in fact, I'm doing it to spite her at this point. So here we go. I do want to clean it up at some point. So let's open the save file. Hopefully everything goes well. I know I'm like blocking the chat with something else. Hi, made it to a stream. Hi, Alexandra, how are you? Alexandra. A community, a community lot build on water, like a bay house with a bridge. We could, because, yeah, because like we have a lot of coastline in Barnacle Bay. We could incorporate like all of these ideas too. A mausoleum beach bar. <laughs> TJ has four sim points. Well, I don't think that's gonna even get you a toilet paper holder. Okay, I'm just gonna let the game load a few things before I get started. <laughs> Sierra says, I'm a regular at my bar, which is part of an apartment building and the Sims could have done it better. Okay, see like, I'm, I'm hoping we get Bridgeport for the next world. So all that also kind of gives, Kind of gives me ideas. Okay, so I think just for the first part of the stream, let's just do some gameplay. If I if I get inspired to build, we'll start building. Cause like we have to clean up this cake. Look at that, let's just count. I'm curious, how many pieces of cake? I'm gonna count these as well since they were left out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there, there, there appear to be 10 outside that I can see. Then inside we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, 26, 27, at least, oh, there's more in here, 28. So like at least 28 pieces of cake just littered around the house. There are 14 Sims living here. So I don't know how this happened. Space Invader, I was binging your lives this morning. How far we've come. We have come a long way. All this cake in Amberlynn still carries the most of it, honestly. We already had our Ozempic elixir. I think I said yesterday, like, or last stream, we should have Ozempic for dinner, but I guess we had cake instead. There's also full laundry and I just did the laundry, so I don't know. 
let's just try and get everything cleaned up a little bit. We'll open the gifts. We'll see what happens. Cemetery. How old is Cemetery? 67 days. She'll be she'll be alive for at least 10, probably. 28 pieces of cake, 400 files, honestly. Seven birthdays. That's what happened. An Ozempic mod would be hilarious. Yeah, it would just require Supernatural. You would just rename the elixir. Ozempic shot. Personally, for weight loss, I prefer good old fashioned hunger. Oh God, what did I click? Okay, so let's just wake up. Everyone seems to be doing well. I remember putting everyone to bed. I remember trying to, well, I, fortunately it looks like everyone has eaten, so that's good. I did not replace the stove yet. Let's just do that. Because we're gonna need all this stuff anyway. There we go. Okay, so that cost us like three grand. Let's go to the gifts. And I have five gifts today, so that means I, the five people who sent them, everyone gets a gift. Flies, whoops. I was thinking of like the files for the Sims 3 save file, like all those cakes are probably gonna lag up our game. That's what I was thinking. Candy Queen says, man, the Sims 3 Let's Play really makes me crave lemon pound cake. I used to make pound cake. Like when I was like 20, like I didn't know how to make a lot of things and pound cake's pretty easy and, and I like it. I like plain desserts. Thank you, Chaos. We got the invigorating elixir. That's the one I wanted. I was talking about that last stream. You may have luxury care package. Great. Aries chick, thank you. We got a nice armchair. You can have luxury care as well. Aylmare, if I said that correctly. Vial of Bliss, thank you. Oh, we might have to give the invigorating one to Cemetery because she's probably going to be the one taking care of everyone. We also don't have any babies. We could just get pregnant pretty quickly too. That'll keep me busy. Thank you, Emma, for the pink flamingo. I'm gonna put it outside. You may have a surprise gift box. Yes. Thank you, Dee Dee, for the barbecue. <laughs> I'm gonna put that outside too. Okay, surprise gift box. Thank you very much. Okay, then we're gonna save. None of the arches I have fits fits the idea I want to build <laughs> to the TSR workshop. Oh no. Is it possible to gift worlds? I'm just curious. You can gift worlds on the Sims 3 store if that's if that's what you're asking. I'll try to send a gift at some point, but work and personal life have been hectic. Oh no, it's no, it's no problem. I usually get too many gifts. Then it feels too cheaty, but quite frankly, we do need the money. Okay, let's see. You're in the yellow. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh God, where is the closest bathroom? Hurry, will, will he make it? I'm glad I caught that. He's gonna run. He's gonna make it. Oh no. Oh no, the toddler. Gluttony. Gluttony's in the way. Run, you can do it. You can do it. Oh God, this is so close. This is way too close. Oh no. Slamming fists on the table, run, run, yeah. And like, I can't slam my fist on the desk because the camera will shake, the lights could fall, the microphone will be making noises. Oh no, you're dirty. Okay, that's okay, Amberlynn's got it. Amberlynn is on the case for once. Okay, is everyone gonna go to school? You're hungry and dirty, but you'll be going to school. Oh, but you're eating cake. Okay, you're kind of everything. Why are they so hungry? There's cake everywhere. Uh-oh, okay. 
Morg is going to school. Leprosy is going to school. Woe is me. Pick me. Cheese string. Neglect to. Issues. And disappointment and abstinence. Okay, everyone seems to be going. Imagine being the school bus driver. It's like 19 kids and counting. Except we have more. <laughs> I'll probably fall asleep to this live, but we'll rewatch tomorrow. No worries. I hope we don't wake you. Okay, get on the bus. Woe is me. What are you doing? Okay, good. Is that everyone? It is everyone. 8.43 a.m. Woe is me wants to steal candy from a baby, so I'm going to lock that in. Just because. Just because it's fun. Okay, Amberlynn, we have to get you pregnant. So, you go to the bathroom. Take a bubble bath. Cemetery's going to take care of the kids. The maids should come and clean up the cake, I hope. I guess we'll have to see. Will he make it? Oh, that's a good name. The mention of 19 kids and counting gives me trauma from growing up in a large evangelical family. Oh my God. Their, their names all start with J too. Do all your siblings names start, start with J? Is that like part of the cult? I'm curious. I just have memories of looking into Michelle Duggar's eyes, like the mother, and seeing nothing. Like, d nothing. And like, usually you can see something. A sense of humor, a slice of evil, you know, something. But like with her, it's nothing. It's like, I have 19 children and I'm happy. Like, I bet. No, but my sisters were somehow all born in May. That means your family was on schedule. They scheduled a certain activity. Are y'all talking about the Duggars? Yes. Yes. I think the J thing was to copy the, the Duggar patriarch. I bet I could name all of them. I tried this recently. Josh, Jana, John David, Jill, Jessa, Ginger, Joseph, Josiah, Joyanna, Jedediah, Jeremiah, Jason, James, Justin, Jackson, Johanna, Jordan, Jennifer, Josie. 19, did it, yay. I can't believe I can do that still. What's wrong with me? I have a special kind of disease where like my, where, like, my brain can think of that. Yes, Ginger with a J. I used to always make a joke about like, this week on 19 Kids and Counting, Ginger comes out as a lesbian. Next week on 18 Kids and Counting. <laughs> okay, Amberlynn is, Amberlynn needs, needs new naked hair. She always gets the micro braids only when she's in the bathtub. <laughs> Otherwise she, she's, she just gets them out. You either die a hero or live long enough to play a hundred baby challenge. I'm going to be the first simmer in history to complete an LP. <laughs> okay. Bathe until tranquil. It's 1116. We have, we, we, have to, we have to get you pregnant. Okay. Everyone seems to go to the park on days, on, on days like this. I'm going to have you drive there. I guess we could have just taken the motive mobile and then not showered. But surely with that many kids, statistically, some of them will be LGBT. And like a, a very interesting statistic is that the more older brothers a male child has, the more likely he is to be gay. It It's not the same with females. And like, there's not a lot of good correlation. She brought a baby. Anyway. There's not a whole lot of strong correlation when it comes to like homosexuality and like how and like how it develops. Like, what is the source of it? Is it you know? It could be from all these different things. But that's the one. That's that's the one strong co um, correlation that we see. 
That's also an older statistic, so it may be different nowadays. What are you, what is she doing? She's leaving? Okay, whatever. I tried. I'm gonna put the baby down and then we're gonna try again. Like you're hungry so we could do the eating contest. Tatum says I can name all 19 kids, honestly. And I pray for each and every one of their souls. Well, not the first one. Okay, oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, Amber Lynn, fine. You can eat this cake that's on the floor. And then you can go back. Oh, sure. Now you do the dishes. Okay, let's go here by ourselves. In our open world. Uh-oh, it's raining. We all know what that means. Hey, when a gal wants floor cake, she really wants floor, floor cake. And I am not judging. Okay, Amberlynn. Ooh. Oh, I think, I think, I think you're a teenager or a lesbian elder. I'm not sure which. Sometimes it happens in real life too. Okay, we're not, we're not ordering food. What is she doing? All teenagers are going to the theater. Great, as long as I don't have to pay for it. Now it's raining, so nobody's here. I don't deserve this. I'm gonna get a spray tan. Let's see what she looks like. She... Ooh. You can smell the chemicals from here. She kind of looks the same. Take a look at Amber Lynn, the queen of summer. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna like explore that, explore the beach area, see if anyone ended up here. Nobody seems to be here. Oh, oh, who are you? You are a child, okay. We already ate, so we can't really eat anywhere. Rain is gonna be tricky. I'm just gonna say hi to Bunny Shore and just wait and see if anyone else shows up. I feel like one of Amberlynn's kids is gonna come out and expose her. Yeah, whichever one is the diva. Which is probably pick me. Okay, Fern has showed up. Fawn has showed up. I barely know who any of these people are. I don't like, I'm not familiar enough with Barnacle Bay Sims to know like if they're from Barnacle Bay or if the game generated them or if they're like a homeless townie. Like I have no idea. Complain about something trivial. I'm gonna have her be a diva. Gossip. Her kids are gonna write a best-selling autobiography and go on an international tour. They're gonna need like two jets for that, at least. Not her cruising the park like a gay man. Needs a hanky so she can advertise she's down to clown. I wonder which, which handkerchief and which pocket I'm having 20-something babies, and I need one of yours, is. It's the opposite of a sausage fest again. Bunny sees that Amber Lynn is bored. She's talking about herself. Oh, she doesn't like it. Thinks Amber Lynn is being boring. Oh, good, the maid? Okay, let's see, how did that go? Did, the cake didn't even get cleaned up, you're done? I guess because it's not spoiled yet. Oh God, and they're, they're just mopping, they're mopping up 
the shower that's not even fixed. Fix it. Oh, Amber Lynn came home. She didn't like do. Okay, let's just online date then. Cheese string. Go eat cake. If y'all won't clean it up, then just eat it. Eat cake, then do laundry. Everyone loves this rocking chair. Check messages. What are you doing? Leprosy. You're not supposed to be in here. Oh, only he's allowed in. Okay, that's fine. I just got my schedule and I'm on closing shift the whole weekend. Oh, I'm so sorry. And the money goes towards therapy. Yeah, we gotta go on a book tour to be able to afford years and years of therapy. You were supposed to... What was I thinking? No! I gotta lock this room, I think. Where is Amber Lynn? Okay, I'm gonna have her go here. And I'm gonna lock this door for everyone except Amberlyn. I also want to get rid of this this door. I'm done. I'm done with the doors. We're just gonna have memories of the doors. Okay. There we go. This corner is kind of boring. We should put something here. Alec, hi there, Amberlynn. You should call me sometime. You can just delete them. Hmm. I don't, who did we not sleep with yet? I should, I should check this. Make sure to unlock if she's about to woohoo. Thank you, I forgot that once already. Okay, I don't think we know Bart. Oh my god, kid. I don't think we know them either. I don't think we know Billy. Okay, let's just let's just start with that. Oh, it's lightning now. Edit profile. Traits. You may as well tell the truth. Body type more to love. Yes. Okay. Oh my god, look at this relationship. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't believe this save file is still running. Holy, I actually just jumped out of my skin. What happened? At least the Sims 3 Sims don't go running around panicking about lightning like ahem, some games. No, they just play in puddles. I'm gonna save. I can't believe everyone's in the green. I didn't even do anything. I'm also curious when our, when our siblings will start dying. Cause I have to figure out how to get all the graves together. Do you use the save? The save cleaner, about every five streams I do it. I do a save as, then I clean it, just in case it breaks. Okay, this kid needs to get out of here. Cemetery, take, take the kid out of there. I'm gonna move these. 
here we can have because maybe if they're next to the laundry then someone will try doing the laundry I take playing in puddles over panicking anytime. Yes. Okay, move everybody. Remember when I remember when I built this and I said I think this is going to be a problem. It's a problem. Leprosy is getting sick now. Okay, go cemetery. You can do it. Why don't we do our homework? I'm gonna make everyone do it. Not that anyone did it anyway. There we go. That'll keep everybody busy. Ooh, can the family have ha um have pets? Not with this routing. Next house, maybe. Hi, Amberlyn Jalopy. This is Jeff Smith calling. Do you want to hang out? Do we know him? Let's see. I'm gonna check. Alec Trebo, Ahmed, Clyde, Abstinence. Oh no, Jeff Smith. He's our most he's our most recent one. Oh well. We'll just ignore him. The Sims 4 emotion system is like me when I forget my meds. That thing drives me crazy. Not leprosy being being her name. Wait, are they all thickness sickness themed? No, we just name them whatever we want. Morgue, leprosy. Leprosy's a boy, by the way. <laughs> Woe is me. Pick me. Cheese string. Neglect two, because we have a neglect one. Issues, disappointment, abstinence, tofu, misused, and gluttony. Pets are tougher than most think. They destroy furniture and pee everywhere if you don't watch them constantly. I find them a nuisance in most Sims games, I'll say. I hate them in Sims 1 the most. If I, like, if I'm playing with a pet in a Sims game, then that's my main focus. Like, if I, like, if my Sim has a cat or one of the, like, because sometimes in The Sims 2, I'll have people adopt pets. And if that's the case, their entire personality becomes that pet, because that's kind of how you have to do it. Disappointment is my baby. Leroy Jonkins, no thank you. Okay, Richie Rodden, we never ended up with, I don't think. I have to check though. This is probably a good idea. So Leroy Jonkins, Clyde Beck. Oh God. Jonah Lai. Shorty Jong Inkbeard. Alec Trebo. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff Smith, Davis Cobb. Yeah, so we haven't we haven't had we haven't had kids with him yet. I don't think. So invite over. He doesn't feel like it. Why not? Okay, let's move down the list. Kid Gold Goldbeard. Invite over. Oh yeah. He's gonna come for a booty call. While, while he's coming, why don't you repair the dishwasher? I'm gonna start sending everybody to bed. Here, you can repair the shower. How complete is everyone's homework? Almost. They're doing pretty good. Oh God, pick me. Pick me, my, my, my beautiful queen. Here, you can eat floor cake, and then you can go to bed. You are presiding over royal court and should be presiding to the bathtub. You can take a bath and go to bed. You can eat cake and then go to bed. 
Sleep in Pikmi's bed. Oh, God. I don't think that's going to go over well. Such a bounty of floor cakes. You may need to Black Widow the daddies to keep this straight. Pump then dump. See, then I'm going to have even more graves. Then I'm going to need two graveyards. Rename them with Enros to be Don Daddy, Don Daddy Lothario. Ew! Don the Daddy. Blech. I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Let's get to know each other better. Let's let Spider-Man kiss in the rain. I'm gonna have her compliment personality. We'll see how that goes. Okay, it's working. Romantic flirt. Oh, he's down. This is good. And give him romantic roses. You're presiding over royal court. You should be residing over the bathtub. <laughs> Such a parent thing. Thank you. I am childless. Chris is here. Welcome. Let's go. Yes. Let's go indeed. Invite inside. I'm gonna unlock the bedroom door too. Let's see if he's funny. Where is he going? Not, can we not do it in this bedroom? Oh, he has no sense of humor. Oh no. That's fine. Ask sign. May as well ask if single now. I was like, please fit through the door and it worked. Oh God, it's not going well. He's tired. I don't think this is going to work. Well, it could work. There we go. I'm going to try for baby. No, oh God, at least, at least all the kids are asleep. It didn't work. Maybe they need their first their first kiss. Okay, they're being flirty. Not a flirtatious joke. Look at his pants. Did you unlock the door? I did. Thank you, Tatum. I did. Come on. I know it's 2.30 in the morning, but we can do this. I know he's tired, but come on. We can do this. I'm going to give him flowers again. Okay, perfect. First kiss. Now, try for baby. Come on. Now, I'm also gonna unlock this. Okay, make sure, make sure the shower doors are all unlocked too. Come on. Okay, they're going... I think they're going to the bed. Look at his shoes. What a doorknob. It's not... Is it working? 
No, just come on. Ugh, this house. Try four, baby. It does. I think he's. I think he's too tired. Yeah, he's leaving. That's the problem. Okay, we'll do it first thing in the morning. But first, I'm just gonna send her shopping to get her needs up. You can, you can go to the bookstore at three in the morning. I'm gonna start taking care of the kids. You said Enroth story progression makes your game lag. Yeah, like I find like I find it does personally. And like I'm not playing a challenge where I need the rest of the town to develop a lot. Like I think Enra story progression is too much. It's too much going on, too many babies, too many relationships. Oh my god. Look at all these books. Okay, I'm just going to I'm not, I'm not actually gonna buy anything. Oh, I have a new friend request. Thank you, Shannon. I'm gonna accept. There we go. I'm trying to re-download The Sims 2 only to see that the video I watched on how to get it was copyrighted by EA. Oh no. I bet. Okay, cemetery's gonna eat cake. Okay, who is the most rested? Okay, I think it's I think it's you. I think it's disappointment. So as soon as he's got as soon as he's well rested, I'll have him eat something. Maybe go to the bathroom. He doesn't need to use the shower or anything. I've only ever heard doorknob as an insult in the Dragonlance book book series. If they try for baby in the shower, all the Sims will rush over because they consider them a rude guest. <gasps> that would be awful. What are you doing? She's just standing out here. Oh, she's like, she's like complimenting herself. She's like, I'm wonderful. At three in the morning outside. Okay, just go home. Okay. Let's wake up. Wake up. Eat some floor cake. Go to the bathroom. What's cemetery doing? Oh no, she wants... You can use this bathtub. Somehow my Enros rarely lets my Sims cheat. However, Salmon Woods has one hell of a baby boom. Yeah, I bet. Even like when I had story progression in my game, like I slowed it right down. I didn't let it do certain things. I just put on the EA story progression. I just want the Sims to age up around me. Once in a while they get married, once in a while they'll have a baby. It's fine. Okay, you need to wake up immediately. You need a shower. Okay, somebody showered at least. Then you're gonna eat some floor cake. Actually, this is table cake. We'll treat you. Oh no, he's embarrassed now. Oh no, someone ate his cake. You can eat this one. Oh god, this school bus is here. I tried. One of them is still asleep and didn't have breakfast. At least they ate all the mess, except outside. Ooh, can they... Here. No, oh, I thought I could put it in his inventory. Okay, wake up. Okay. You're going to school. Leprosy. You're not supposed to be here. He's dirty and hungry. Okay, leprosy needs to stay home. That's fine. You're... 
Is what was me gonna wash the dishes? She's trying. I'm not. I'm not gonna allow it. She has to go to school. Pick me's in the school bus. She strings in the school bus. Neglects going. Issues is there. I think that's everybody. Everyone except leprosy. You know what, leprosy? You're going. Why won't he go? Oh, is it locked? I'm just gonna unlock it. Run! He made it. Basement hot tub with sexy lights and music. Lock, lock door only for Amberlynn. Amberlynn plus guest. EA would probably recharge for expansion packs again for Sims 2. Oh, totally. They're gonna make us buy seasons a, like a fourth time, fifth time, sixth time. If you think it's raining in your Sims game without you paying $100, you're wrong. Excuse me. Okay. The toddlers are all doing well. Is it their birthday? It's their birthday tomorrow. So Amber Lynn is looking at herself in the mirror, which is fine. You're gonna invite invite over the ugly blonde guy. Good, he doesn't have a job. Yes! We're dating an unemployed man. Sims 5 cost is gonna be wild. Yeah, as soon as they're like, we're gonna make the base game free. I'm like, I bet. I am so scared for the future of The Sims. Like, it has, like, you think I'm mad at The Sims 4? Oh, God, just, just you wait. Okay, he's here, wearing the same stupid outfit. Invite inside. I'm gonna speed, I'm gonna speed run this. Oh, God, the maids are here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky. Okay, flirt. Flirt in the dirty kitchen. Okay, the maids can clean this up. That's what we pay them for. Oh good, it's working. It's working. Oh no, they can hear the baby. Extremely irresistible, okay. Where's try for baby? Don't care about these anymore. Oh God, okay, we have to time this just right. So they're gonna start walking towards the bed. He's making the bed that they're gonna woohoo in. If only The Sims wasn't made by freaking EA, honestly. <laughs> build mode is gonna cost extra. The build mode battle pass. What's he doing? Are they... Are they going to the shower? Oh, they are. Okay, I locked it too. Perfect. Sims 5 is gonna be free, then they'll make a $40 expansion just, just to add build, build buy mode. That's exactly what I think. Okay, let's, let's, let's check her phone. Where's her phone? She's pregnant. Perfect. What are you doing? Everyone's in the green somehow. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save as. The woohoo was so good, the object fixed to the wall rocked. Absolutely. 
Next group of kids, honestly. Let's see if we can speed it up. What if I just like speed three it for a bit? Let's see what happens. Oh, he's still here. I probably unlock that door. Okay, now let's speed three it. He like dies in there from starvation by accident. He's still here, make him leave. Ask to leave. He's, so now he's gonna do his like woohoo strut. He's like woohoo strut out of here. Baby daddy number 10. Oh no, he, they're like, who's that? It's like, don't worry about it. Oh my God, what's she doing? Okay, let's just speed three. Sure, they can all go on a field trip, I don't care. I am so obsessed with the entranceway to the house. This, this part? Oh, here come the kids. Woe is me thinks Amber Lynn is being impolite. I really hope some of these new games put them in their place, but we'll see. I just joined the Life by You Discord. So we'll see how that goes. What's this? Oh, it's prom. Oh no. Okay. Is it pick me's prom? Oh, it's pick me's prom. We have, okay. We are doing a cast makeover. There we go. We're gonna do a cast makeover. I just got a, I just got an ad for The Sims 4 on mobile. Ew. Okay. Look at Little Miss Pick Me. So is so should it be formal wear? Oh wow. Wow. Oh my god. I don't think I have to do anything. Make her look like a pick me. What I will do is change her outerwear outfit because she'll be outside of the high school in the rain and she'll want to wear a, um outerwear stuff. So Oh, there's no dresses for outerwear. I'm going to make her look as beautiful as possible. What is she wearing? She looks like a dugger in this skirt. Come on, there's got to be something nice. Please let me give her some sort of heal. Looks like she doesn't need a makeover. She's dressed, she's dressed to kill. Pink, it's not just for Wednesdays. I think it is Wednesday in the game. I think it is. Let's pick me's color. Ew, lime, fine. You can have a lime sweater. I'll try. Ninja can have the pink boots. I kind of like the boots as they are. I'm just gonna change the jeans. Uh, I need a better texture. Okay, create a style, let's do your thing. Fabrics, let's find something that can pass as a denim. Christian schools were all about skort. I went to Catholic school so long ago that we didn't have skorts. It was like kilts. Well, like I say we, like I didn't wear them, but the girls used to roll those things up. My goodness. Ah, corduroy. I didn't, why is there a corduroy? There's several corduroy textures in this game. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, this actually just looks like regular denim. I think they need to do the opposite of Sims 4. They need to start focusing on the aesthetic more because the humans look dead inside. I like the Sims 3 Sims. Ugh. 
I'm trying. It's the sweater. It's too bright. Let's see if we can make it a little bit less, less limey. I think that's better. And in fact, I should darken the boots. Brighter, but darker. There we go. EA needs to focus on not putting out bug, bug fest content. Like, at this point, like, I just don't get it. Like, it all, there's always a problem. There's always a problem. I gave up on the pants. These say they're for pregnancy, but they're not bad. Pregnancy pants. How come the only skinny things? Okay, you know what? She's, we're doing, we're doing into the future. And this like, this leg thing kind of reminds me of the mermaid. <laughs> You know what? We could do the lime in the pants then. Let's do this. And then we'll turn this dark, maybe not that dark. I bet I can't change that, that part. I don't like this thing on the leg. What if I did this instead? I like this better. Wait, but I cannot... Uh, the blue is not gonna be able to change either. Why isn't there a normal one of these? Oh, this is fine. I could do this. I wish I saw these earlier. Ooh. I just want to do like splashes of it. Yeah, like that. At this point, The Sims 4 is the, is the bug. Like it's, it's so embarrassing. Like how embarrassing. This is what's wrong with the current video game industry. I have a love-hate relationship with these with these leggings. They're the only thing that she's gonna look sexy in, you know? Come on, there has to be there has to be outerwear that's a little more revealing than than this sweater, but there isn't. What about those like pink puffer jackets? Ugh! That does not fit her right. I like this one, but I don't like the arm thing. Was that supposed to be Canada Goose? Oh, it's on all the swatches. I'm gonna have to match her. Am I gonna have to put her in this? Oh, none of these fit either. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give her a pink puffer jacket then. Oh yeah, Barbie, Barbie highlighter. And then we'll make this part white. What's, what's this part? Ooh, this sweater underneath, I'm gonna make it black. I'm getting there. We're almost there. Now I just need to fix the boots. Ew, I got the Sims 4 ad too. I'm so sorry. Hi, Catherine. How are you? We're just giving... Why don't we do Uggs? We'll do Uggs. I want to make them, like, nice, though. We can do pink Uggs. I'm going to take this, this pink... And then I'm gonna copy the color to here, but then I'm gonna like take away some of the saturation. Yeah, like that. 
these gloves. We can give her green gloves. I'm gonna copy. Oh no, I randomized it. I'm gonna copy that green. There we go. And then we'll give her some makeup. We'll give her makeup for like every outfit. We can give her a new hairstyle too. We may as well. Look at her. Okay, I'm gonna give her some... Is she a blue girly? I don't think so. I think she's a smoky eye girly. Maybe a little, a little bit of eyeliner. Not, not like that. I'll give her custom content, why not? Yeah, I'll give her that. None of these colors are really doing it for me. Hmm. It's too dark. I don't... I'm not good at makeup. At least we have the color wheel and stuff to, to try. Yeah, I'll just bring out, I'll just bring out a little bit of pink. Little bit. Now, do we do strong lip or nude lip? She is stunning. She's gorgeous. She's like the product of birth and her siblings are ugly as hell. Like ugly, ugly, like not, not, not Sims 3 ugly, not like potato face ugly, like ugly, ugly. Pick me got the good jeans. She picked all the good jeans and left the other two with scraps. That's what happened. Ooh, I kind of like the nude lip a bit. I like, I like it. I'm just gonna fix the cheeks a little bit. Yeah, it's a little, it is, it is a little too saturated. Okay, there we go. Cause she's a natural beauty. Like she doesn't need a whole lot. She just needs a little mascara, a little gloss on the lip. She's gorgeous. Okay, we're done. Okay, there she goes. I'm gonna save. All those other kids are gonna have to work on their personalities like I did. Oh no. Okay. Oh God. Yeah, see, this is what, this is woe is me. This is pick me's brother. Well done. Princess pick me. What's it called? Pro prom queen. Maybe she'll be prom queen. <gasps> I hope so. Leprosy. Go leprosy. He's sick too. Look at Morg. Okay, we're going. Let's go to prom, everybody. Okay, you can tell which one's the pick me. She should go into her dress. Oh no. Okay, just go in then. Woe is me just went to prom. This is a huge moment in a teen's life and he will remember it forever. Cheese string, everybody. Go pick me. Leprosy went to prom and pick me went to prom. I'm gonna share it. 
Your memory was posted to The Sims 3 and any selected social networks. It may take several minutes for your post to appear because it was 2009. Woe is me could be handsome as an adult. He could look like Elliot maybe from Stardew Valley, which is not my kind of handsome, but I, I see what you mean. Okay, they're all at prom. Let's go back and check on Amberlynn. Everything's going fine. I'm just gonna fast forward. Oh, one of the kids learned something. I'm like, what happened? I'm just gonna keep an eye on prom. I'm doing a save file where I where I play the bachelors and give and give Bella a different life. Ooh, what kind of life is Bella gonna have? Just give the boys beards. I'm uglier with a beard. Like I tried to grow a beard relatively recently. A, I can't really do it. And B, ew, like no. I'm not sure why my skin is holding on as long as it has, but it has, so I'm just gonna go with it. Let's see what happens. Oh, Nicole, I thought it was pick me. Okay, let's see what happened. Woe is me was denied for a dance. He decided to just dance by herself the rest of the night. Himself, I think. Oh no. We're having an identity crisis. We're getting rejected. Cheese String is tearing up the dance floor when they announced that she was prom queen. <gasps> no, Cheese String was prom queen. Oops. Leprosy was challenged to a dance battle. Of course, he finished on top and the challenger was not happy about it. A fight broke out. Sore losers never prosper. Simon revealed that he likes Pick Me a lot. Pick Me was so happy she couldn't wipe the smile off her face because she was picked. Slay cheese string. Yeah, well, I guess I guess she deserved it. Oh my God. At least the game's still working. Okay, now we're gonna get our pregnancy bump. Like soon. Oh, she's doing a bedtime story for disappointment. Pick me! Exactly. Cheese string having a hot girl era now. Yes, she is. Here comes the baby bump. Well, that coat's not not gonna look good in a month. Okay, good. You're showering, but what else is wrong with you? Two days till your birthday. You're low energy. Go to bed. You go to bed. Oh, it's Thursday. I thought it was Wednesday. Okay, you are going to bed. Everyone's doing well. The toddlers have their birthday tomorrow. Cheese string watching those makeup YouTube tutorials. Trick those men. How to trick people into thinking you're good looking. Woe is me is doing homework because he knows he's going to have to get a good job if he ever wants someone to dance with him. <laughs> Look at her. She looks like a supermodel. Just like hanging out. She looks like a supermodel. And look at woe is me. Bling. She's so pretty. I can't stop. Ugh. I can't play The Sims 3 because The Sims 3 Sims are ugly. You're ugly. Okay, pick me. Go to sleep. You're destined for greatness. And we all know it. Clown music starts starts playing. Or like the price is right horns when you lose. Bum, bum, ba -dum. It's giving the hunchback of Notre Dame and Esmeralda. Literally. 
You're ugly, LMAO. <laughs> I agree with you. They they ain't ugly. Like, of course, sometimes they're they're ugly, but like that's just that's also how like reality is. Like sometimes you just get like a gorgeous human out of nowhere. Like a flower that grew out of a pot of dirt. <laughs> Amberlyn took her rocking chair, her rightful place in the rocking chair. Okay, you're in bed, you're in bed, you're in bed, you're, no, you're not in bed. Woe is me. Everyone's exhausted, but they're going to bed. And everyone has to go to school tomorrow. Cemetery grew into a beauty. She certainly did. She's prettier now than she like was when she was a teenager. She wants to sit in the chair too. Well, that's well, that's just not happening. Okay, Amber Lynn. Repair the laptop. Then go to the bathroom. Fifty vehicles have been removed. Go error trap. Go overwatch. You guys can do it. Some of the townies are ugly, but you can edit them easily and you don't have to make your um your your sims ugly. I uh, I'm not sure if it's like if if you edit the face of the townies and then have kids with them, does it use their old genetics or their new ones? Sims 4 babies have no have have no chins and no personality. If you work with the sliders, you can make gorgeous Sims. Like I'm not good at making Sims. The way I make Sims is exactly how this LP is going. I still made Pick Me. I just made her a different way. <laughs> By having dozens of children until one came out good. I will admit that Sims 4 has more beautiful character designs, but it only further adds to the dollhouse feel of the game. Sims 3 gives us realistic beauty standards. Yeah, because like your Sims gain weight, lose, lose weight, have ugly kids, have pretty kids. I like, I like um, the mix up. I, I heard a ghost and of course it's Harley. I don't know why Rugrat's not coming up lately. Slay Harley, yeah, she's back. She's always back. Do Sims not change weight in the Sims? Like sometimes I think, like, I don't know. Like I've had a Sim gain, gain weight before in the Sims, in the Sims 4. But like the thing was with the Sims 4 is you can just, everything is too easy. So like if your Sim is overweight and you want it to lose weight, you just put it on a treadmill for eight hours and then <sighs> you want your Sims to fall in love with each other. You just have them flirt and like it always works. It's just like, it's too, it's too easy. Is, is grandma Harley here? Yes, she is. I bet she's going for that chair. Amberlynn, go to bed. Harley's just diagonally going to her chair. This is the chair she died in. <laughs> maybe Rugrat has a vendetta against the family. Yeah, maybe she'll show up at a, at a later, more problematic time. I'm gonna save again. Rugrat in the afterlife. It's better here than there, literally. Sims 3 Sims have way more personality. Sims 4 Sims are all goofy because they look like plastic. Cold, shiny, hard plastic. Sims 4 Alpha CC makes them look like Sims 3 Sims. That's so funny. That's I, I never thought of it that way. It's the truth. Speaking of alpha, okay, we have to do some CC shopping. Like, I don't I don't want to bore everybody with a two-hour CC shopping stream, but like I need some CC. And I don't know if I can do it by myself, so we'll have to see. Japanese Buddhism has a philosophy that imperfections add to beauty when it does exist. Just like Tyra Banks. 
so you can appreciate the imperfection as well. That's where The Sims 3 wins and The Sims 4 didn't understand. I absolutely agree. Like, when The Sims 3 looks good, it looks so good. And when it looks bad, it looks so bad. Whether it's builds or items or Sims themselves or whatever it is. But, like, The Sims 4 always looks like The Sims 4. And, like, you, like just zooming out in, like, the world... Let's just go to some random place in Barnacle Bay. Like this? This is just some random place I clicked in Barnacle Bay and it's prettier than like anywhere else in The Sims, uh, in The Sims 4. Also, the ground has texture in The Sims 3. So that's always nice. Pick me. Do you turn off story progression in game settings? No, I enable the EA one. I leave it, I leave it on. I'm gonna save again, but then I'm gonna go into options. I love Fairyland Sims 3 hairs. I just download all my hairs from that and they all look like they belong together. That's, it's always good to have like a creator who's made a lot of things that you can just get like a good chunk of what they do. Cause it's, because then, cause then you get that kind of cohesive thing. Which is nice. Oh god, he's hungry. I'm hungry too. Then eat. You can have a blueberry muffin. It's Miss Yu's birthday. It's Gluttony's birthday. It's Tofu's birthday. I'm gonna do their age ups as soon as the school bus comes and takes everybody else. Oh, it was Wednesday. It's Thursday morning now. Oh no, the, t the table's possessed. Who could it be? Oh, it's Harley. Jealous Harley. Oh no, wake up, go. Oh, this is not going well. You can pee at school. Come on, let's let's everyone eat. Oh god, the shower broke. Woe is me. Is woe is me unlucky? No. Hands up in chat. Who wants to CC hunt with 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 Rack? Apparently nobody. Ranika, what are the, what, uh, what are the toddlers' names? They are Tofu, Misused, and Gluttony. Sims 3 GG. Hi Rico. I've been lurking for a bit, but I love a good Sims 4 slander. I I fit here nicely when others had it too. Love it. Okay, we could do like because we can incorporate CC shopping into a stream where like because like I because like I don't have to look for two hours. I don't think I'd be able to do that. I would just want to get like some hairs, some clothes, maybe a little bit of build CC. I've never used build CC. Like I use EA stuff. Okay, everyone seems to have gone to school despite having varying do Okay, she's sick. She had a bad night's sleep and she's very hungry. Well, that sucks. Nobody look again, Rack. Okay, I'm looking now. Thank you. Oh, I can link you build CC for days. I'm sure like people, people are like, that's their thing. Like some people know all these mods or all this CC and like are on top of it. I put in my default replacements when I install the game and like, that's it. Like I might grab a hair here or a hair there. I do go looking for it. I just never find anything that I want. I'm so glad I freed myself from thinking Sims 4 was the best and got Sims 3 in 2022. Like I had my breaking point and quit the Sims 4, I think in 2020, maybe 2021. And I was just like, this will never get better. This is a complete scam. 
and like nobody's talking about it. So I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not doing this anymore. I quit. Oh, they're going on a field trip. I was like, why are they leaving school? Okay, Amberlynn, you gotta take care of yourself. She's playing computer games and ignoring her every need. So I'm gonna have her eat a vanilla muffin and then she's gonna sleep. Oh, it's burnt too. No, they're talking about it, but all the bugs just got the more clicks for reporting on it. Abstinence, put down that knife. No. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give birth, so we have to start thinking of names. No. I got a few Sims 3 expansion packs off the gray market and they got removed from my game, but I can't even rebuy them on the EA app. Oh no. Maybe look into just like getting it on Steam instead or something. I don't know. Okay. Are we gonna have time to shower? I'm gonna have her take a bath. Oh, I forgot about the baby's birthday or like the top, the, um, the toddler's birthdays. Oh, well, they're gonna age up when they age up, I guess. Oh, it's 6.02, I have time. No, everyone's here. I'm just gonna let the toddlers age up on their own. I've been doing birthday cakes for almost all of them. So I'm just gonna let the game do it. The Sims 4 Repairs and Fixes Expansion Pack, only $39.99. I think that they're gonna make us pay for the Speed 3 button. I think they're gonna make us pay for Build Buy Mode. I think they're gonna make us pay for being able to share on the gallery or whatever the gallery equivalent is. I bet the color wheel will be based on a, uh, on a subscription service. That's what I think. And I think I haven't even scratched the surface. <laughs> so there we go. Must you give them ideas? I Oh, you're right. I never thought of that. Andrew Wilson's probably watching the stream in his lair being like, yes, yes. Okay, we're having birthdays. Oh man, if the Sims 4 gallery was on the Sims 3, I would faint. That's the only thing Sims 4 was good for. You can use the exchange on the Sims 3, but it's not the same as the gallery. I'll, I'll give you that. I think they're just gonna move everything to make it worth playing is gonna be subscription based. I agree. Tofu's a loser. I fed you at least twice. I hate the exchange. Yeah, like it is not it is not the easiest thing to use and it doesn't always work. Okay, someone's got to get these two out. Come on. Okay, Miss Miss Misused is brave. Put down Gluttony. Gluttony's gonna age up now. Daredevil. Oh god. Misused. She's thinking of her future. What color are your eyes? Do you have do you have grandma's eyes? 
No, then I hope we have a daughter when we give birth today. At this point, Life by You is the only thing I'm interested in. I think that's the best shot at this point. Like, you know, for a game that is like The Sims 3 and like, you know, an advancement on a real life simulator, I'm hoping everything goes well with Life with Life by You. That is my, like, I don't have high faith in any of them, but I do think that Life by You is the most likely. The most likely candidate to be a life sim that would be fun. Oh god, do not read a bedtime st whatever, I'll just let her do it. Oh, poor cemetery. Go to the bathroom then go to bed. Okay, Amber Lynn's gonna go into labor like any minute. I'm gonna save. Funny thing, but giving people what they want would get them the money. Yeah, like that's kind of the, th but the thing is, is that, and, and again, this is, this is why I am so zealous against the brainwashed Sims for people, I, people barely, but the, like the reason that they can keep doing this is because you keep giving them the money for it and you keep pretending like it's good and like it's fun. Like you are grown adults. Like I understand why 10 year olds are like, yay. Like, but like you are grown adults. And here you are talking about it. Like it's the best thing. And that like, it's just, it's so, I just don't understand it. I don't understand. Like, I understand that you have to sometimes put on a bit of a personality or exaggerate certain things because you are on the internet. You are an internet presence and personality and stuff. But like, you can't possibly believe that goddamn tripe you're saying. Like, you can't possibly. Are you grifty or stupid? Like, I can't tell, you know? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. And like, you can play the game and enjoy it for what it is. Like, I'm not talking about that. Like, you can like it, like you can, this, you know, this is a great game to build in. This is a great game to make your own story. Absolutely. But like to like, ugh, it just gives me the creeps. Like two new kids are coming, yay! Like who cares? There we go. I had my rant for the day. Bye for real. <laughs> Wreck the baby. Okay, go to the go to the hospital. I yelled so much that she is now in labor. The kids are like are such a scam. Like and the the other thing is like the sim the Sims 3 was no less cash grabby at all. I just don't feel like you're missing anything when you don't get Sims 3 store items. Like there's so many things I don't have. There's four stuff packs that I still don't own for the Sims 3. Like, and I don't care because I don't need it. Like my game is not incomplete without them. I can play the game with like one or two expansion packs installed and it's still a game. The Sims 4 is not a game, it's like a I hate saying dollhouse simulator because it's so ubiquitous. It's just like, oh my God, like delusional, delusional. And because of this behavior, they can get away with anything because you'll just eat up whatever. <laughs> get your best names out, honestly. Sims 4 is just bland. It's like toast with no butter. And in fact, it's just bread. And then the DLC is the toaster. So like you don't get butter with it though. Okay, we have new babies. Good evening, Rakowski. Hi, randomly, Sammy. Are you gonna make new parts of your, I think I, I think I didn't read that right. Don't take stray bullets on us. I didn't do this. How dare you? In case there's any of you here. Bread, you mean flour, literally. Sims 4 base game is the flour, the whisk, 
to, to or no, the, the sieve is an expansion pack. Uh, the water is an expansion pack and eating it is an expansion pack. Okay, I'm gonna get, oh, I forgot to move my face too for so long. Okay, I'm gonna get the wheel ready. Let's do it. Spin the wheel. Let's see if I did this right. Okay, so in the time it took me to pull up this this wheel, I'm sure there's some names in the chat that I can put down now. Stinky, I like stinky. Stinky. This is a boy. Door doorknob is good. Surprise. Yes, we've been trying to get that that one going. Rant. Yes. Desperation. That's a good unisex name. Pizza. Oh, I like that. Jube jube. Okay. Ju Jujube. Jujube. G-string. No, that's going to be too confusing, but we can do G-string next gen, if that makes sense. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Okay, I'm going to add some of the new ones because we probably have multiples, right? Okay, let's spin. One, two, three. Turlet, as Cindy would say. Pizza! Jonathan got his name. Let's add Cindy to the wheel. That'll be fun. Pizza. Baby girl! Yay! Okay, so we have a new potential matriarch. Oh my god, a girl at last, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna take off pizza. I'm gonna take off surprise, but I'll put it back on if we have another male. Ooh, Sierra said green toilet. I like, I like that. Felony. Okay, give me a second. Okay. So, so Natasha, are we still trying for that? Okay, give, give me a second. I'm going to, I'm going to redo this then. Because this is a potential, like, matriarch. So I'm going to pick really good ones that I want. Okay, felony. Oh, stinky felony. Oh, no. Let's do Cindy. Let's do Piggy. I love it. And I'll go for Natasha. I think that's a nice enough name. Okay, so this is... <laughs> we could also do... <laughs> Methica. <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh, no. Moment. I don't want the matriarch to be two Amberlins in a row. Susan from accounting. Mr. Mina said so. Okay. I'm going to spin it. Let's try. One, two, three. It's felony. I love it. Oh, I just saw fertility pop up. That would have been a good one, too. Okay, felony. We have another girl, so we can pick which girl we want. Oh God, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna take off felony, but I will add in, what did I see? Felony. <laughs> felony, yeah, like we can, we can play around with the name. Don't worry. For... Instead of fertility, for Tiffany <laughs> or something. I don't oh, I don't like it now. I'm scared. Give me a good name. I want I want one more on the wheel. Pinto, I don't want to do the same name twice for Tiffany. Okay, 
I think I'm just gonna. I'm thinking. I know. I'm looking at like Rigamorsha, Morticia. I'll do Morticia, but like spelled like Tisha. More, more Trisha. More Trisha. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Okay, one, two, three. It's Cindy! <laughs> oh no, we're just gonna go to a whole other universe of girl world. We got a Cindy. We could name all the babies after things from the era. Stinky is so close. We might have a fourth. Let's see. Okay, it's only triplets. I'm gonna get rid of the wheel before I forget. Oh my god. Well, so much for building this episode. Here we come with our triplets. Pizza, Felony, and Cindy. <laughs> my god. From the drama YouTuber sphere, literally. Cindy has to be the heir, yes. I can clickbait the hell out of that whole generation. The staff must know Amberlynn by now. Literally, they're like, hey, Amberlynn. Okay, so I think that will be Amberlynn's last pregnancy. She ages up in three days. And we have two females. What are their traits? So Cindy is excitable and hydrophobic. Felony is a genius and hydrophobic because they were born during thunderstorms. <laughs> Pizza is also hydrophobic and clumsy. Felony is now my baby. She can't get pregnant again, right? I could probably rush it right now, but I don't want to. In fact, we only need three cribs now. The nurses probably bet on when the next birth is. They're like, I give it four days. Who'd she pick up last? Yeah, Cindy. So Cindy's the last. Oh my God. Whoa, the conditions during birth influence randomly selected traits. Learn something new every day. To be honest, I don't know if that's the case. That does seem to be a little bit coincidental for me, but like that could be the case. Like I learn something new about The Sims 3 all the time, all the time. She can get pregnant tonight, honestly. We could also have Felony and Cindy fight to the death. <laughs> that's a, that's an option. We can have Felony get pregnant later and then she can get ripped out of the car. <laughs> Go for it, get get pregnant. I, I think we've done enough. I think we've done enough. Oh God, what's happening? I can't even see the tree. Look at this family tree. I can't even fit all of the kids in full frame. <laughs> Twin heirs. I don't think you can do that. And I don't know if I want to do that because I'm going to have I'm going to have Aunt pick me move in. Felony is a kleptomat, a kleptomaniac. Imagine, honestly, she could join the criminal career. That would make sense. <sighs> we got more babies. Pick me once a flu shot. How many kids do we have now? It's true. I should keep a counter for the. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a piece of paper. And I'm going to write down how many babies I have. And then each time we give birth, we're going to write it down again. So, or add it to the list. So that way we can keep track a little bit easier. 
This is not a family tree. It's a family shrubbery. It's, it's giving MLM. With Harley at the top. <laughs> oh no, Ariel's already dead. We gotta go get her grave. Rage quit, we forgot, we did, but that's okay, we'll do that. We'll get it one of these days. We still have like 60 more babies to go. Okay, so I know the first, oh God. So I know the first generation we had 13. Yes. Four, eight, 12, 13. <gasps> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've actually had 39 babies, but one died. So we're actually at 38. So that's it. Oh no, I got, I got water on the other side. I've been writing down like Pokemon IVs and stuff so that way I can keep rolling for a perfect Chikorita and now it's all like bled through. Okay, well done. Well done, Amber Lynn. I'm gonna save as. I'll be fighting to get doorknob in every time. Keep it coming. I liked that name too. Come the next generation, it's gonna be a family wreath. How festive, a <laughs> family wreath. Can we revive poor Rugrats somehow? Probably. But she's made her grave and she has to lie in it. At least now she's well hydrated, it's raining. It was a nice run, Amberlynn, I agree. So now that we have our last set of kids, I was thinking, oh my God, my brother and I play Pokemon and do the same. Casual gameplay is not a thing for us. I want to do a Crystal Nuzlocke, so I need a perfect Chikorita, because I don't want to use Cyndaquil, and I don't like Totodile. And I know that Chikorita is the hardest one to pick, but I still want it. Rugrat is in a better place, literally. Literally, like, she, like six feet under the house, you have more human rights than in the house at this point. She is well fed, well watered. Um, there, it's clean over here. You know, like all, all of these things that the, at the house just does not, the house is full of traps, uh, spoiled food, electric appliances that are in puddles and broken. Mormons watch this family with a mixture of disgust and admiration. The number one LP in the, what's it called? The LDS or something? I don't know. Tatum says Totodile's my favorite Pokemon. I'm sorry, he's my least favorite of the of the starters. <laughs> Nothing against him. He's just the weakest of the three in that in that game. It's not my least favorite starter, like in general. It's probably still in the upper half. I just like I've picked it once. It's fine. Oh, a cat. Stray cat. It's wet. We can't allow this. Pick me. Come on. Come on. His cat's in the way of the door. Cyndaquil is the one I picked, I think, first. Cause like I bought Pokemon Silver when it like first came out like in 2000 or whatever. This, I know y'all love this entrance, but I'm not doing those one steps anymore. It's Rugrat come back as a cat, it must be. Why are we doing this out in the rain? Oh, the cat likes that. Invite inside. Here, pick up. We may as well throw a cat into the mix. I can't think of a reason why not. 
No, pick it up. Maybe, maybe she doesn't want to. Familiar cat. Bather. No, she won't let it. Okay, that's okay. Oh, we're getting a cat now? I'm just, I'm just open to the idea. Okay, cemetery's gotta take care of the babies. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, uh, it's 7.30 in the morning. I kinda wanna leave it on the morning, but as our last activity, we have to pick, cause I wanna, cause first of all, I wanna spin for the new world sooner rather than later, just so that way I have an idea as to where the LP is gonna go. Because before you know it, we'll be ready to go. Like we, we already have our, our heir who's been born and we just have to play through their life at this point. And that'll probably be faster than having babies. So we need to start thinking of a world. I'm gonna pull out the wheel. We'll have some discussion, but, you, but you're free to suggest any world you wish, except a world we've already done. So no Sunlit Tides and no Barnacle Bay. And actually not Isla Paradiso. Yay, world spin. I figured like we may as well do it together because it's a good way to kind of end the stream and get us thinking forward, you know what I mean? Okay, I see Moonlight Falls. I see Bridgeport and Riverview. I like those. Roaring Heights is your favorite, yes. Manifesting Bridge, Bridgeport. The Showtime World, I love. I love that one. Starlight Shores. It has some of the best lore and drama in the world itself. One of the best. Oh, and I, sorry, Adam, I don't want to do Lucky Palms because that's, because that's where my not so berry was slash is. I love Lucky Palms though, like nothing against it. It's just that I've played in it so much. Okay, let's just get out the wheel. And try to get everything to where I can see it. Okay. And no Appaloosa. <laughs> Appaloosa Plains, because if we're doing Cindy, we need a Southern town. I don't like Appaloosa Plains. I might have to delete the pets if we go there. <laughs> I'll have to delete the horses and stuff. Imagine baby challenge in Bridgeport in an apartment. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Bridgeport. I'm just going to pick a few. Riverview. Lunar Lakes. Dragon Valley. I, I forgot about Dragon Valley, so I'm going to put that down. Someone likes Roaring Heights. Okay, I'll put Appaloosa Plains. I won't want it, but who knows? Okay, and one more. Okay, and I also see Monte Vista. So I'm gonna put Monte Vista. Apart from app, apart from the pets, what's the issue with Appaloosa Plains? I just, I, fall aesthetic is my least favorite aesthetic. I just, I don't like it. It's fine. Like, it's not, like, it's not hideous or anything. It's just like, bleh, it's dull dull to me. Okay. I'm going to leave it at this. We'll see. Like, I have hot takes, but like, you know, like you can like, you can like Appaloosa Plains. Go for it. It's just not for me. Okay. Let's do it. Like, I wish there was a winter world instead, but anyway, I won't get into it. One, two, three. We're going to Lunar Lakes! Oh no! Think of the ha- okay. So. 
Oh, you can't see the wheel. Oh, then it doesn't count. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I prop. <laughs> it landed on Lunar Lakes. Okay. So Lunar Lakes will be fun because we can build literally anything we want. So I'm glad we didn't build a regular cemetery because we're gonna need something different. I want, my build is gonna be off the wall. Off the wall. Tatum said, I wanted Lunar Lakes. Well, here we go. You won again, you keep winning. I've never seen Lunar Lakes before. Why, um, why, why can you build anything there? It's just because it's so futuristic, like you would never build something normal in Lunar Lakes, like ever. So like a hundred baby, you wouldn't have a hundred baby family house. You would have a hundred baby, uh, like factory. Like, so we're gonna have a baby factory, a futuristic alien baby factory. My goodness. So that's that. And just like I did with Sunlit Tides and with Barnacle Bay, I'm just biting the bullet and we're doing it. I'm not gonna respin. I'm not gonna think of an excuse. I'm not, you know, cause like, or else we would not be in Barnacle Bay. But you know what? It's been a good time and we've seen most of it at this point. It's so ugly, it's raining. Never mind. We'll look at it later. Okay, let's just get everyone off to school, then I'll save the game. What are you doing? Oh, he's telling stories. Okay. This baby is hungry. Oh, pick me's feeding the baby. Go pick me. I'm so excited. She's, she's, she's practicing to be the next cemetery. Is she not going to school? Oh no, they are, they are going to school. He's gonna forget the, forget the muffin in the oven. Okay, Morg, going to school, you're going to school, you're going to school. Pick me's not, go to school. Cheese string, you're doing fine, just go to school. Uh-oh, this one's hungry. This one's dirty. The kids are less capable of taking care of themselves. Most of them have to pee. I have to pee too. God, thunder and lightning. I think that's everybody. There we go, we did it. All before 9 a.m. It's funny, because in The Sims 1, it's hard It's hard to get one kid to catch the school bus on, on time, but in The Sims 3, it's like, yeah, 12-ish, I can do that. Probably more. We have 17 Sims, so we have 15 kids with us right now. I'm interested to see you play there. I don't I don't use it much. I don't think I've ever used it as like a long-term world, like maybe a generation or so. I've also never really played with the pre-maids. The school dispatches one bus for Amberlynn's kids alone. Yeah, and soon they're gonna need to send two. Okay, I think everyone ended up there. I'm just gonna save one last time. Is there a tornado? Probably. My God. I'm gonna like order dinner as we grab Kyle and say and say our goodbyes so I can go pick it up after. I, I keep talking about, oh, I'll order food tonight. I have not done it. Like in the last three times I keep mentioning that I'm going to, I never end up doing it. The other night I had like, like this veggie sausage in the back of my fridge. I just put it in the frying pan. I'm like, whatever, I'll just eat this with mayonnaise. But I need like food, food. You'll, you'll really need to look into the additional entry and exit routing slots for the school mod with, 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 this, with this many kids. There's a few routing mods I need. Maybe one day we'll just do a bunch of mod in CC. We'll just like up, update the game's looks, update the game's functionality. Poor pick me doesn't know what she's in for. She's going to be doing, she's going to be taking care of the kids nonstop. Okay. I'll see you all in 
as soon as possible. There we go. Well, wasn't that something? So I'm gonna get out of the game. I'm gonna go grab Kyle. I think Kyle's asleep. Me too, I'm planning on moving soon, so I need to eat all my leftovers. Haven't had a veggie in a few days. I've had like a couple busy weekends. I just haven't, like, I'm pretty good at keeping up with like housework and stuff, but like, shopping like because like I don't drive right so like I have to actually go get everything so that kind of took a back seat and like I did a lot of shopping like last month so I had like food in the freezer I could make like I had reserves and then it's just been slowly getting worse 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 and worse I'm gonna do it quickly I always get the same things from the same places so it does not take me very long I'm gonna get Chinese food. What do you normally order for Chinese food? Like, this is like Americanized chi um, Chinese food. I'm getting General So or whatever it's called. I'm so white. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll have the General Tso chicken, please. My goodness. The one that's near me kind of has like everything available vegetarian so I can get like sweet and sour pork, but a vegetarian version with tofu, like General Sao chicken, but with tofu, you know what I mean? So none of the sauces or anything are problematic for me. My goodness. Sesame chicken you get? That sounds good. I don't think I've had sesame before. Like I know what sesame is, but meat and veggie bowl usually. Our Chinese food here is closer to their traditional food, so Americanized version is beyond my grasp. Where do, um, yeah, like, I, what's actually even more Americanized in a weird way is like British Chinese food. Like you can get it with chips. Beef and broccoli, that's popular. Okay, I want, I'm gonna get the noodles too. I'm gonna get noodles and I'm gonna get the general so. This is hard to do. I'm so old. It's like, oh my God, this whole thing is confusing me. Okay, pick up, there we go. We are all set. Some curry tofu sounds sounds good. I usually don't get to um curry unless it's from an Indian restaurant. I don't know why, like I just don't think of getting curry Unless, unless I'm getting Indian. Look at Kyle, he's asleep. I've been screaming this whole time. Okay, I think I did it. I like chow mein, but I don't get Chinese food often. See, like, it's like, I, like, I like the thin noodles, like the lo mein, I think it's called. It depends. Okay, sleepy baby. Yeah, he's asleep. Let's get him. Ah. My stretching cat. He's stopping me. Come on. He's such a piggy. Big stretches are mascot. Honestly. You do not claw into this. This is 100% wool knit and it's very expensive. Very exp more expensive than you were. There we go. I used to love chow chow foon. That's fat. That's fat noodles. No, I, 
I think they call them Shanghai noodles here if if they're thick. Honestly, I am not a Chinese food expert. I am just somebody who partakes in eating it every once in a while. But thank you all so much for joining me on the stream tonight. I'm glad we figured out where we're going to move, who our next heir is going to be. Oh, God, I got to think of titles with Cindy in it. So that'll be fun. But they're, oh, the cute meows. Oh, you heard them. Bye to little baby big Kyle. Kyle, come back. I see, see his tail. That's where his food dish is. Right there. He's hoping, but it's not going to happen. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the stream. Don't forget to hit the like button before you go and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss the next one. We'll be back on Tuesday next week, Tuesdays and Thursdays every week, unless I'm lazy or sick. So, so far we've been doing pretty good. So uh, I think next week we're gonna definitely play The Sims 3 on Tuesday. And then, like I said, maybe we'll get inspired to do something else Thursday because I've been thinking about maybe doing a Pokemon game, maybe doing some Roblox multiplayer with everybody who's in the chat. So let me know, like even, like, even in the comments or in the Discord of anything you think might be fun for us to do because I'm always open to trying something else except The Sims 4. So other than that, I'm pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very, very much. And we will see you all next week. Bye him. Bye Dernhelm. Bye, bye Lauren. Have a great night. Bye Star Stuff. Bye, bye Bunny22. Bye Maloney. Bye Candy Queen. Bye Catherine. Bye Adam. Bye Chris. Bye Jonathan. Bye Sierra. Bye Tatum. Bye, bye witchcraft. We'll see you soon. Bye Sims 3 GG. Bye Adam. If I didn't say it already, I, I hope you all have a lovely night. And like I said, we'll see you all next week. Bye everybody.